Okay. Uh, R2, how's it going, guys? Okay, so uh, hopefully this is recording. Um, Microsoft, we need to fix your Microsoft account. Most likely your passwords changed. So, like, okay, this is just a bunch of gobbledygook. Well, uh, anyways, good morning, guys, from my kitchen. You already seen the videos. You know that I we need some tools today. If you're gonna do, we're gonna do a colder. A Coulter, he was the first artist to create mobile sculptures in the 20th century. Very modernist, I would say almost postmodernist. Um, he influenced the postmodernist movement. So art always influences the intellectual philosophical movements of both literature as well as philosophical. But we're the ones, uh, I, you know, remember I told you guys I started with art and then I went into the other two fields. I like history and philosophy. Well, uh, Calder was an American living in Paris, and he was broke. And if you saw what we use, uh, he just used whatever he could find. He knew how to weld. He was working at a welding shop in France. Um, he started working for the railroads, and he started just taking pieces. And he said, you know, if I cut some of these pieces and tie them up with chains, and I can balance them properly, I can balance, move a mobile sculpture just it will move either by wind or the tremor of the feet. And he knew how to measure this. He had studied his general physics you teach in high school. We learn in high school today. So pay attention to your physics. You never know what you're going to put into it. Chemistry, well, if, unless you like that old French song, you know, thing to go boom, boom. Da, da, da. So anyways, if you do an E-gloss for this, you're going to use six to seven, six to eight cut pieces of Coca-Cola cans, which I did. And if you saw the videos I did that, I always wear safety gloves. Now, if you do not have safety gloves, you can do this. You can do origami. I've done this with art one. It's very noisy. So I cut out one, two, three, four, five, six sheets. And I wash them too. Always touch these with your gloves. Ask your parents if you have uh, construction gloves, if you want to do it this way. Always wear them when you cut your gloves with your hands. Okay, that's the first thing we need, tools. Second, you're going to need um, a pair of kindergarten scissors to cut the, the metal. These are the best. And actually, I shouldn't even have this here on the floor because this stuff is so dangerous. And I'm going to leave it in the center of the table. So you're going to need this, a hole puncher. So we mentioned <coughs> gloves, <coughs> most importantly. <coughs> Sorry, I was eating a walnut chocolates. Hole puncher, kindergarten scissors, of course, a ruler, a pen and pencils. Um, I would advise Sharpie uh, for the when we draw on the metal pieces. Uh, you have two options. You can use a hot glue gun. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can use, uh, I would say, any kind of glue. The best kind would be something like Gorilla Glue or the hot glue gun. And this, this comes in last. This is the last thing we do after, and it's going to be a cascade, you know, like a waterfall, but it's going to be an artificial waterfall. That's, we're going to do Calder's thing. You can still do it with paper too. We can definitely do it with paper. So grabbing my notebook and I'm going to grab my camera. I'm going to see if the camera works on this computer. If it doesn't, guys, it's not the end of the world. I just have to, oh my gosh. Uh, let's pull. Let's see if we can pull a Hail Mary, and hopefully we can have a camera that does will be mobile for you guys to see. So I think this hole goes in here, and this will go in here, so I don't have to move this camera a lot. Mr. Novus, come on. Am I recording? Yes, I am recording. Great. So if you watch the earlier videos, you're gonna notice that. Oh my God, it's not gonna go in. Give me a second, guys. And I just dropped my camera. Not a good thing. Oh, it doesn't want to go in there. That's what we get when we buy. Oh, it went in there. So give it a few minutes. <clears throat> so I'm going to wait for this to light up. Come on, come on. Uh, if it doesn't work, we're going to go the old-fashioned way. So where is... I haven't used this since... It works great on my other computer, but it took me a long time to fix that. Let's see if this works. No, I don't think so. It's not going to work. 
Huh. It works on the other computer, but not this one. Okay, I, we got to carry on. So, how to do now? We have to play the part of engineers. I'm put the light here in my breakfast nook. I'm going to crack down the computer for you guys to see. So, I kind of did a rough draft here on the paper. Yeah, ask permission, always see your parents where we're going to start playing. So, I'm going to open up my my plan book. So, I'm going to put call this uh, my mobile calder. So here's your blueprint, just like an engineer. Mobile kinetic, kinetic, that means moving, kinetic sculpture. Sculpt, my L, sorry, my sculpt, sure. Uh, Calder. Calder was the artist. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to do a generic one. So basically, I already grabbed my stick. And I measured it. Try to make it six to eight. Keep it even. So I measured it. So the heavy stick should always go, in my advice, to the bottom. Hello? 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 Okay. Sorry, guys, about that. I thought it was some family. I always hope a relative from the old country will call, but they never do. They don't care anymore. So anyways, so you see, yes, I'm using my kitten garden scissors. And I grab this, if you notice, from uh, the tree limbs. So anyways, I'm going to use, I should use my mom's garden gardening scissors. So I'm going to chop these up outside for my sticks. Don't worry, you guys. So went outside, grab the gardening scissors. Okay, guys, so here's my longest one. Let me move the camera. I don't think the camera's going to work. I tried, but uh, it's not going to work. So let's just get rid of that. It's not going to work. See? All it did was suck up energy. Oh, God. It's like a lawyer. Absolutely talks a lot and doesn't do anything. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. Okay, this is the smallest one. What the heck? So these are sticks I grab, branch I grab. So they should be almost like a V. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is probably just nibble off a little bit off here. All right, I'll tell you why, guys. And later on, I gotta clean this up too, because I'm gonna get yelled at. Don't do like I am doing over the. Well, we're not. We don't use the formal dining now. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Should have been six. Okay. What? The, there's a branch missing, I believe. I'm gonna have to put this away. Okay. So now I have this. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. So basically, I'm going to improvise. 
my stick was not as long as I thought. So if you look at this this way, guys, if you can see, it's almost diagonal. See that? If I straighten this out, it's doing this. That's what it, we need to have a diagonal line here, vertical line here. Do you guys see that? Great. Okay, so. Yeah, that's a water jar for my mom. So I'm going to do my sticks here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to draw them here. Okay, and it's okay. Um, now some artists use metal sticks. I'm using only how many? One, two, three, four, five. So that means I'm going to have to cut my shapes. Okay. And I'm making them, I'm going to draw them in my notebook, almost like cylinders. You know, I'm trying to give them that organic look too, but I'm still going to use the cylinder. Whoops. So that's almost one, two, three. And we have to hang an object from each side. It's not a perfect sketch. Remember, I, ha I don't even know what it's going to look like at the end. I'm still designing as I go through this. Um, so, and wait. And then this one's going to go this way. So it's a stick I got from a tree branch, small tree branch. See that, guys? So I am making my notes. My shapes, I'm making them look somewhat organic. We do need a string, which I forgot to get. We also need string. So if you give me a second, I'm going to grab some string. I prefer the red. Okay. Just like you guys, I couldn't find red, so I'm going to take some, steal some black string from my mom. I'm going to get in trouble for it. So again, tools we need. I'm going to write down the tools so I won't forget. A stick or a branch. I have cut into one, two, three, four. Five. Now, the original instructions I got is to six sticks, guys. So, uh, so tools. I'm going to write my tools that I'm using. So, stick or a branch into six slices. I'm cheating. I'm using five. That's all I got. Okay, I'll, I'm just doing the same thing you guys. Um, kindergarten scissors, I'll tell you why. They're the best. If you don't use whatever art supply scissors you have, they will work too. The kindergarten scissors are the best uh, because they don't, the edge, they ne and it doesn't fade. It's much tougher. So kindergarten scissors, sticks. Uh, what else I'm using? Hole puncher. Oh, gloves. Construction gloves. Construction gloves. If you don't have construction gloves, I say do origami. Again, do not buy anything. Do whatever you have around the house, guys. So use origami, A, B, C, D, sticks, uh, instruction gloves. Your material could be either D, paper for origami, for origami, or in this case, I'm using uh, soda cans, soda can can metal it's your choice now it's permission to your parents who's a b c d let me make that into a d and my blueprints are not going to be pretty so i got stick slices oh and the glue glue uh what else pencil if you don't have a sharpie you can use a ballpoint ink pen too so, okay, great. So now I have the sticks. I'm going to keep this saved here. I also made an outline to keep them ordered. So again, make sure we have vertical. So let's just write that down, vertical. 
and I'm sorry, not vertical. Yeah, vertical. Vertical. Okay. And diagonal. Diagonal. So again, in your notes, I wrote, you can see that. Diagonal cut, uh, vertical here, so they're aligned vertically here, and here, and from a string, we're going to tie these. But we're going to, basically, we're going to tie them in the center. So this is part one. So let's call this part one. We're not, we haven't assembled yet. We are getting, let's call this gather, part one's gathering our tools. This is the video right now. So now that I've done that, and I have the string, I'm going to put on, my vertical gloves. I mean, my vertical gloves. I mean, my safety gloves. And got to be careful. Now, if you want to do origami, look at the videos. Look at the origami pieces. And you're going to pick pieces you want to do. So if you want to go with a the Halloween theme, Star Wars theme, you can definitely do that. Now, if you already have me uh, and you've done that before, you know what I'm talking about. If this is your first time, follow the videos. Look at the samples because we have to make a video of this. Those of you guys who can do this, you have safety gloves. This is what counts. If you have safety gloves, I'm going to ask you, please show me your safety gloves when you take a picture. I don't want nobody's hands getting cut. So now I grab my slice. This. Oh, and later on, if you want, you can spray paint this too. So I'm going to create my design. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Sharpie. If I can find where I put my Sharpie, it's in my pocket. Oh boy. So anyways, I want to try something new this year. So this is what. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm not going to draw on this side because there's too much stuff going on here. I want to see what I can draw here. So I got six coming according to my instructions. Let's go back to our notebook. So we got only five this time. So you can create, you can do like cauldron, calder. Sorry, I call it cauldron, but... I, you know, you can make a witch's cauldron if you want. So I am, you know what? I might just do that. So I'm going to design a witch. Maybe she's going to be. So I'm going to put two at the bottom. So there should be two at the bottom here. So I'm going to put another one. This is just to remind me of my notes. And there should be two here. So there'll be two, three. And the string that ties these go here. And it's going to be a string. That does the equilibrium. It makes it look like a cascade. You're going to have to move them around until you have a perfect balance. And there's going to be a string here. Okay, so I'm going to watch my video. Now I'm going to see if I can make a witch here. There it is. So I'm making my silhouette of my witch. I'm going to cut her out, make her ugly nose, her chin. I'm going to have her write her broom. Okay. Uh, is this a, really a colder? Mm, yeah, it could be, but I'm going with a hollow, holiday theme to it. Later, I'm going to cut the hole through here to make it look like she's holding on to her broom, her dress. Okay, so her stick's going to go through here. Okay, and there we go, her stick. Her broom. Not a perfect witch, but there you guys go. And I did it with the Sharpie. So I'm going to grab my scissors. Okay. And some people do flatten it out. Do flatten it out. So, oh, you know what? I might as well give her shoes. So I might as well give her feet. Some people would want to do that. Um, Get for one, maybe a second foot. There we go. Her dress flying. Still fixing this. Maybe I'll cut the hole. She's a skinny hipster little witch. Big old head, but that's okay. So I'm going to paint this again too. So I'm going to make my first one. Okay. So now it is metal. So if you're doing your origami, like I said, you can go with any theme you want. I'm going to put several videos for you guys to choose from. I've done this 
So now I'm going to follow my pattern here. Uh, now remember, I'm going to ask you guys to not recycle the pieces. Throw them away. Put them in the bag so nobody gets hurt. If you guys recycle, you don't want your mom and dad sticking their hands in there. So put them in the bag like I'm going to do in a second. There we go. I think the little piece just flew off. I'm going to drip over this. I'm going to try to do my broom here. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put out a piece right now. There we go. So that means I'm going to have to cut something that's almost as long as her. I mean, she's going to go on top. Yeah, she's probably going to go on top. I'm probably going to put her There we go, that's one down. And like I said, I had to wash these cans. So now, this is going to be the difficult part. Ooh. See, the great thing about kindergarten scissors is like they cut like a scaffold. They're great for that. That's one. I'm going to have to start cutting more closer to the edge now. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm going to have to cut this piece. It's really irritating me right now. Okay, and she's bending a little bit, but it's okay. That's okay. We can still fix it. But again, always cut with your gloves on. Okay. Okay, so my witch is slowly coming out, but she is. There we go. And she's bending too much. But we can bend. We'll bend this again. Okay, so now let's go in here. Cut in that sword. So again, we're going to make, we're hoping these shapes. Well, Ben, now, if you want to make your shapes into form, throw, put something, you can do that too. Um, uh, I, I encourage that. There we go. Did I get the little piece in there? Make sure all the pieces go in here. I'm going to clean these out first too. So I'm going to put my sticks right here. And I'll tell you why, because all the stuff I'm cutting here is going to go into uh, you gotta be careful I almost felt like I almost cut myself and I'm wearing gloves too so uh, let's finish cleaning the silhouette of the witch okay so like I said if you do the origami I'm okay. that's perfect because if you don't have safety gloves at home I don't want you guys doing this without gloves okay uh, if you don't have a hot glue gun try to use um, you can use Gorilla Glue. Elmer's Glue will work too, but that's the last thing we do. So right now, get that in there. Let me crack her open. She's not she's a typical witch. She's not playing along. She's being selfish. So let's just cut her hat out right now. I'm going to get on top of this right now. So I'm going to finish doing the top of her hat right now and don't worry about her bending just I'm gonna spray paint her too later on boy is she being difficult right now okay I'm gonna finish her nose and her face I will just get the face out of the way first and the hair how much there we go now What's going to happen is uh, we might have to use pennies on these too, just like the origami. So if you did the origami with me last year, the mobile, you can do that too. Okay, so 
and just like we did the you're gonna substitute my video using the, the paper so let's cut through here and I'm creating these no matter what if you do paper it doesn't mean I'm gonna give you higher score points if you do the uh, the metal no, 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 no. I'm not gonna grade you just because you're no no um, it's the skill whatever materials you guys have at hand I'm not gonna be I don't you know I'm being very flexible because of that you know if you work with origami and you like origami I say go with it you know if you want to challenge yourself because you already done your origami with me do it but again safety please 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 safety comes first Okay, because I'm really scared of cutting myself too. Don't get me wrong. Okay, because I don't want to go to. I don't want none of us to go to the hospital. Urgent care. It's not fun. So I think I'm almost done with her broom. Yeah. So right now I'm gonna just shred up her broom a bit. Right here, make it look like the bristles of an old, an old style broom. There we go. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Finish that one too. Give it a bit of an edge here. And we have our broom, our witch on her broomstick. There we go. So it's coming out slowly. Now you're saying, Mr. Nava, she's bending too much. Is there a trick to straighten her out? Yes, there is. You can always glue a penny right down here, right here, close to her feet. You stick a penny in the witches, that will actually straighten her out. You know, so. Or whatever you guys are going to be doing. If you don't have to do a witch, please. You want to go, you want to go classic Calder on me, go for it. I'd rather have you guys doing it. But I'm doing this because it's Halloween's coming up. And, there we go. and I'm going, I'm doing the Halloween theme to this. You guys don't have to do that. I really, uh, if you guys do a colder, I would actually give you more kudos for being traditionalist. And I'm doing this for those people who want to have some fun. It's the holiday. It's, I don't want to get closer to the holidays. I remember that was the fun part when I was a little kid in elementary school when we did art. Um, but some teachers really got into the holiday thing big time. So here we go. So I got my witches. I gotta do the little hole. I wanna do her arms basically. I'm gonna have to punch her here very carefully. Don't wanna, I gotta be careful. There we go. Made the hole through there. This is not being enjoyable. Imagine when I do the jack o' lantern. Boy, that's gonna be. Here we go. So there we go. Finally. Also be careful. You don't wanna cut your finger too. You don't wanna ruin the gloves. Because if your parent, if your mom's loaning them to you or your dad, you know, you don't want to explain to that. Sorry, I broke your gloves. Okay, so right now, there we go. So I got my witch done. I got her hat. I got her silhouette. She doesn't look much. So there we go. So where are we going to hang her from? I'm going to hang her from her tip of her hat. So now that, now that I've done this, here I'm going to spray paint her too. I gotta cut a hole where I'm gonna hang her from. So I'm gonna do it probably from here. So I need something that's long like the witch. Ah, there we go. See that, so I'm gonna hang it from there. So now, <clears throat> I'm gonna flatten this out or like this. You guys see that? So I'm done with my witch. I know where I'm gonna hang her from, but I gotta do something as long as her. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe a ghost. Are you sure? Uh, so now I'm going to... So i got to do five, six. So now I'm going to do something that's long as her. Uh, I could do a coffin if I want to. I think that's just a little bit too creepy for me. I would not want to do a coffin. But I can also do a ghost. And I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do a ghost. Uh, so, you know, maybe give it some arms too. 
Oh, what's his name from um, um, Nightmare, uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas? Uh, Mr. Boogie Woogie. There you go. You can do Boogie Woogie too. So I'm going to give him evil eyes too. So I'm doing this with a pencil, so I don't need a Sharpie. Uh, I can do a mouth too. And then I'm going to have to cut a hole somewhere. So I can have that. So now I'm not even going to give him. So I'm going to cut this through right now. Okay, uh -huh. So now I'm gonna give Mr. Boogie Woogie some almost like tree branch gloves. So, okay, let me show you what I, I did. I kinda outlined him. Made him look I think of flames. So let me do it with the sharpie so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm right now cutting his arms. Uh, his head. Yeah, I know, Mom, we need some rain. So, his arm here. I'm kind of done with the. Maybe do some jagged things here with the. So, and the mouth. I'm going to cut out his mouth. But I'm going to give him those evil diagonal lies, too. There we go. So, now, and the reason I want to make it as long as the witch, because these two have to. They're going at the bottom. They have to balance out, and again, I'm going to probably stick a glue a penny to him. Uh, so it's going to cost us two pennies. Cuidado, mamá, no traes guantes. Okay. Como le dije a los muchachos, si no tienen guantes, que no lo hagan. Que hagan papel de origami. I just told my mom in Spanish, if you're doing this, and if you don't have safety gloves, do the origami. You can still do a Halloween thing with origami. Yeah, y voy a hacer un, un fantasma aquí. Okay, mm -hmm. see. Uh, estamos haciendo como la escultura de Calder que se movían. So we're, I just explained to my mom we're doing Calder, but I'm doing a Halloween theme to this. Um, it's because you don't have to do Halloween theme. You're gonna get totally professional on your on your uh, on your artwork. Go for it. Actually, looks much better. I'm kind of like it's. I'm getting into the Halloween thing right now. I don't get that crazy. I just do the jack o' lantern. I don't go that crazy in my neighborhood anymore. Because if they were my neighbor's kids are all grown up, uh, you know, they're they're all in they're in their twenties now or late teens, going to the ABC college or the military. Yeah. And then the other guys are in their twenties. They're too old to be celebrating. My rule is, you're if you're in your twenties, you're too old to be celebrating Halloween. Okay, cool. So I'm giving the tree a uh, scary looking long arms. Okay. And I'll just cut this out. See that, guys? See how I'm doing this? And again, uh, origami. I need you guys to do the paper sculptures if you want to. If you don't have, cannot do this. Uh, I don't want you guys playing, playing with this stuff if you don't have safety gloves. And it's okay to do the origami. That's more artistic, in my opinion. So I'm going to have to glue pennies on these because they're bending okay so I'm trying to keep it simple for some of you guys okay so I'm going to do the tip of the my ghost here I want he's kind of inspired by boogie woogie or what if it's except he's gone he's lost some weight which I should do there we go that part was really irritating me so now I'm just going to go in here cut that out pull it out there we go Gotta be careful because, again, as I told you guys, make sure nothing lies around. The stuff cuts, okay? And make sure you put it in uh, for safety's sakes. Oh my god, it's still bending too much. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna give it that bent I wanted to give it. And now I'm gonna go for the eyes in the mouth. I'm gonna cut a hole through that. Oh my gosh, that's really hard. I'm gonna have to, here's I'm gonna, there's a trick to it. Just bend a little bit and then cut. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Got it in there. So now I can cut its mouth. Now I can cut its mouth. And don't work as fast as I am. The reason I'm working fast is because I have to record this video. 
you guys don't have to record a video. You guys have all the time for this week to be working on this. So, so right now what I'm going to do is maybe how's the mouth? Mouth is kind of creepy. Now the eyes. Okay, let's do the eyes, Mr. M. Here's what you can do for the eyes. You need something to puncture it. I'm gonna take my gloves off because my it's and you're gonna this is a big no-no, but we're gonna to have to do this to cut out the eyes. I'm gonna grab a knife. Uh, I would suggest a pointed steak knife for this. You can find one. If that doesn't work very gently, be careful. Punch it out with a, uh, and be careful because I don't want you guys cutting yourselves. Oh my god, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. We have the hole puncher. I totally forgot about that. But okay, so again, don't do like I'm. So do like put on your gloves again. I'm like I cut myself. I'm putting my safety gloves again, even though they're a little bit sweaty. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab my hole puncher, and I'm gonna cut to make the eyes. So I'm gonna go in here, do one eye here. Actually, let's do one eye right here. I'm gonna cut a hole here so when we can, where we're to hang him from with the string. Perfect. Don't worry about that big old hole there. Do that other one down here. Okay, that will work really good. Pull it out. And right here. Okay, put that hole, where does it go? Right here. Sweet. So now I gotta do the eyes. Give them those evil eyes. How do I do that? I just gotta be on top of it. Okay. There we go. So I'm just doing a V, I'm cutting like a V on top of this. There, my evil eyes. See that, guys? There's my boogie woogie. His face. You see that? <clears throat> now, I'm going to glue probably a penny down here to straighten these guys out. Actually, I might just do this. See what I'm doing right now? Just bend it like a V. There he is. He's flat now. I kind of like the arms going a little bit crazy here. I'm going to finish the fingers on this side. Ah, <sighs> gosh. So, I'm right here. I'm going to cut a V here. Another V here. <clears throat> there we go. So I'm going to do the same thing to the witch now. <clears throat> I'm going to just basically put a V here on its bent this. And my witch is already bent. A little bit here too. Pop her out this way. Ah, that's straightened out. So I don't even have to glue a penny now. But I want to glue a penny to weigh, weigh them down. There we go. So I got those two there. Uh, let's get my junk in here. Two. Let's get rid of this two in there. Now all of this I'm gonna put in the trash can. I cannot recycle it because I don't want none of us getting cut. So I got let's see. So I got two for the bottom. 
So that means I need one, two, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to cut one, two, three, one, two. So I'm going to need something from the side. So I think I just might. I like ghosts. I might just do another boogie woogie up there. I just like ghosts. I'm going to do another boogie man. But I might just put the next one. And yeah, Mr. Navas is not really following the Calder. You know, Calder will probably give me the okay. So now I'm going to break. I'm going to do these into two. So here, that's really great, Mr. Novice. Here, I'm going to do a jack o' lantern. I'm going to draw my stick. I'm doing my jack o' lantern here, traditional jack o' lantern. So I'm going to draw the triangle eyes here, the nose. One tooth. There's something about a tooth. Might just stretch this out here like that a little bit more. There we go. And I just want a little bit imperfection. And over here on this side, I'm probably going to do the cheesy traditional bat. So keep it simple. Do the Batman thing if that helps you out. I don't want my bat to be. I'm thinking more like Edgar Gorey. Uh, his stuff was not very symmetrical. So again, I got my jack o' lantern lay outline and my. So I'm gonna grab my. Let me cut cut it in half right now so this side will not irritate me. So right now, I'm gonna cut this out this way. And cut this one here too. And now, like I said, do your origami. But if you're going to do the shapes like I am, uh, make sure and you're going to work with metal. Like I said, make sure you have all the right tools. If you don't, it's okay. Do the origami. It's safe. I just don't want nobody getting hurt. That's why. And whatever you guys have lying around around the house. That's what we're working with. Okay, so I'm going to pull this one out. There we go. Cut the stem a little bit here. And I'm going to make this pumpkin a little bit uneven. As you notice, this is why you should work. Make sure you have no little brother, little sister lying around you. Because this is more for high school kids. <laughs> you know, I don't want none of them getting hurt. This is, yeah, this is what... Now, if you guys want to do the Halloween theme with it, I'm cool with that too. Remember, I'm going to also spray paint this stuff. So I'm going to grab my hole puncher now. That's a weird jack o' lantern right now. I can, the mouth is going to be really. So I'm going to keep the mouth where it is. So I'm going to punch my hole. That's my entryway into the center, which I'm having a hard time right now. Jeez. Please. Let's see if I can get through the mouth here. Okay. I'm going to cheat. This is big. There we go. Can I see, I'm going to see if I can bend it over. All this metal stuff is going to have to go into the trash can. There we go. I'm going to bend this just a little bit for a little while. Then I'm going to flatten it out again. There we go. There we go. That kind of worked it out. Let's see if I can do the eye. I'm going to try to do the eye in the nose now. That's the way we can start cutting from there. Even if it's a small hole, a better small. I'd rather have a small hole than a big old gap. So let's go in here, Mr. Novice. Just a little one to make the nose. Okay, so now I punched in the holes. This is great for incision, just like a surgeon. Uh, I'm not really happy with my jack o' lantern right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shape it more. I'm not happy with the shape; it looks more like an apple. There we go. Okay, sweet. Okay, see how we're working with this? So now I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to start cutting pieces out. Okay. 
Okay, so. Okay, if you want to start shaping that, go for it. Now, whatever you guys want to do, I don't know if you want to shape. Do they have, you can do geometric shapes. You can do organic shapes. Okay, so. There we go. There's its mouth. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do its tooth right now. I'm going to cut out this little piece, almost like a real. I think it's easier to cut out a jackal and them. To, I'm, one, I'm going to leave one tooth on it. That's it. Needs to have only one tooth. And then. Let's see if I can bend this a bit. I think I can. Okay, good. Same thing here. Let's see if I can bend this a little bit. There we go. Cool. There we go. Ooh, it kind of looks kind of evil. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. It has a round eye, and it's not a perfect jack o' lantern, but it looks like it's winking at us. I'm going to leave the round eye and the, the uh, triangle eye. So we have two different shapes. It looks like a. It's having. It's kind of mocking us. So, let me punch the hole perfectly here in the center. I'm going to hang it from there. There we go. So, we got one shape here. Let's go to the bat. So, we got the bat now. I'm going to tell you why I cut it. I just want to cut out the extra stuff first. And now, there we go. And now the next slice. There we go. There you go. Okay, cool. Got this one in. Ooh, this is going to be a little bit of a... Okay, so... So, I'm just back in there. I'm inspired by Edgar Gorey. He was an artist who did a lot of illustrations in the 70s. Uh, mostly on uh, Edwardians and Victorians. So... Uh, let me cut, cut this piece right now. And it just flew somewhere else, which I'm gonna tell my mom just gonna yell at me anyways. Okay, so I got this thing. So now got this piece right here of the bat. Whoa, almost went into his face. That's one piece we don't need anymore. And here we go. There we go. So now you're saying, Mr. Nobles, how the bat's bending, how are you gonna? Oh, I'll fix this right now. So you guys don't have to do what I'm doing. If you want to go classic, 
Calder, please do. So now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to bend this right now. Let me see my gloves. Like this. That. There we go. And I do want the bat hanging from the middle. So I'm probably going to give him two eyes. Maybe, you know what? I'm just going to have a hole in there. Could be its mouth. So I'm going to hang my bat from there. You know, no. So people are going to figure out what kind of, what is that? Some people say, oh, it's a bat in flight. So. We got twitches. We got so um, so. This is what we're doing for the first part. Uh, we got the sticks. We got the uh, uh, so the first part of the video, which is now almost an hour. We cut our sticks. We are cutting our shapes. Okay, in metal. Okay, let me get our cut shape. I don't want them getting dirty. Okay. I'm going to paint them too. Okay, what else? Oh my God. I gotta put it. So, geez, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, I'm not done with them. I still got to cut two more shapes. So, again, uh, you want to cut your sticks. Okay, folks? Then. You want to cut your, your images, whatever you guys want to do. I'm going with a the Halloween theme. Uh, and then make sure this side, it's vertical straight, except when you cut them on this way, you have a diagonal. And the reason is I'm getting kicked out of the kitchen because of my mom. She's being very noisy, and she's kind of letting me know to, to get out. So anyways, that's just what you guys are doing. I'm going to put my cut witch and ghost and jack o lantern in the notebook here for safety purposes. The two unused pieces and the clean. I'm right now going to start cleaning up because I'm getting I'm getting evicted. So I'm going to disconnect my cell phone from being charged. Put all the stuff I could in here, and I'm going to throw this out in in the trash can. So, anyways, I'm going to try to make another video um, before Wednesday. I will put that uh, the mounting. We I'm going to finish my six images i thought that was a piece of metal no it's my hair turning gray i thought it was silver anyways um, i'm gonna clean up now you can see my mom's in the kitchen she's kicking me out so anyways um start cleaning up i'll talk to you guys in the second video in which i finished the pieces and i'm gonna probably spray paint them when they're hanging from the string okay talk to you later bye